What's going on everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Ralph Breaks the Internet. Ralph Breaks the Internet takes place six years later after the original Wreck-It Ralph, which I adore. I think that film is criminally underrated when people talk about Disney films. But this film's about Ralph and Vanellope, who are now friends and discover a Wi-Fi router in their arcade leads them into new adventures. Now, of course, this is a Disney animated film. I'm a big animation freak. I love animation. It's one of my favorite genres of film. I'm a big fan of Disney as well. So this was one of my most anticipated movies for the fall, and I gotta say, I think Ralph Breaks the Internet, or what I can just say is Wreck-It Ralph 2, I think it's just as good as the original. So I think if you did like the original or love the original, I think you're gonna find that same enjoyment within this Wreck-It Ralph movie. One of the main things that I do want to start off with this movie is that it's not perfect. I do have my issues with it. I think there are a couple things that I think they could have stepped up on that would have made this film even go bigger and be on better than the original film, but my god, there are a couple sequences throughout this movie that just make me laugh, made me smile, made me giggle, and just have such a great time with this movie. And my god, make sure to stay after the credits. Make sure to get to the mid-credits, because if you're kind of like me and love those kind of little tidbits, and if you've seen the trailers, there's a scene in there that they play off very well within the mid-credits scene. That's why I'll leave it at. But overall, the story, the story is a fun little adventure of them going into the Wi-Fi router and into the internet they go. I can say this. I think some of the internet space stuff is a little bit lacking and some of the jokes might be a little bit dated down the road, but they're still entertaining and they still make me laugh. There's some jokes that do seem a little bit misshaped and I think are even out of place now, but it's still fun. And that's where the movie goes. And in a sense, the whole film is a parody on not just Disney in general, but a parody on the whole entire internet. If you're in the internet space or you're in the social media space, there are jokes to be made throughout this whole film. The mid credit scene can be a joke. You look at the Disney and how they own everything. That can be a joke. And then when you get the princess scene, which is hands down the best scene of the whole film, all that Disney stuff isn't just like one big marketing ploy for Disney. No, they make fun of themselves in here. And and it's wonderful the way that they say that they self talk about themselves and the way that they just laugh about it. it. It works so hard. And then the trailers, there's more scenes that extend to there. And I loved what they did with that moment and those scenes. And I wish there was even more to that, but it was one of the best moments in the film. And again, it goes to that where the whole internet, the whole parody on these things works with such a full level. And one of the best things about the film is that it carries a couple strong messages in here about insecurity, about the internet. And those messages really speak full force to the younger audience, to the older audience. And I think a lot of people can kind of learn things through this film where it's not just a dopey kind of fun movie that you take your kids to, but this film can definitely teach some kids certain elements. Off Breaks the Internet has that adorable, sweet, loving vibe that you do get from our main characters just like we had in the first one you look at vanellope sweets who i love vanellope at sarah silverman nails voicing her then you go to john c riley i think john's voice fits ralph perfectly he is ralph and their relationship they're kind of brother sister relationship that they have but also just pretty much best friends you know we all have that one best friend who is pretty much a brother or a sister to us and that's what their relationship is and again it's extended even more into this movie and it works newcomers like gal gadot's shank in here is a nice welcoming addition and I definitely say I wanted a little bit more of Calhoun and Fix-It Felix's storyline in here. They're really barely in the movie, but they have a little cool subplot that I wish they would have gone a little bit more into. There's, that's where I kind of get to my cons for this film. There are certain elements within this movie that I think that they would have just extended a little bit more and gone a little bit more in that route. It would have worked. The Disney stuff would have worked, should have played to that more. Some of the arcade game things should have played to that a little bit more. The whole universe that Gal Gadot's character Shank is from, this MMO world, was awesome should have extended that a little bit more but the elements that i could have cared less about which is some of the stuff within the internet there's this whole viral video kind of section where again some of the viral videos don't really fit in there because they're a little bit dated i want a little bit more in there yeah there's a couple good messages yeah it's a little bit entertaining but I kind of felt a little, the film slowed down a bit in there. And don't get me wrong, those moments aren't going to ruin the film overall. It just slowed down the film a little bit more, and I would have liked less time there and more time in the other parts of the internet that they did explore, and I would have liked a little bit more of. They go to the dark web for Pete's sakes, and that is just insane that a Disney film goes to that length. But it was interesting to go down there. This is definitely a world I want to go back to. I want to wreck it Ralph 3. I want to continue these characters' relationships, How 
however they can. And even though it's these small MacGuffin things that always start their journey, it always pays off in full force. Ralph Breaks the Internet is a very sweet, charming, and fun time at the movies. It carries such a good message for younger and older people, and it continues this great dynamic between Ralph and Vanellope that I definitely want to see continued. Love the self-parody stuff that Disney put in here. I love the, the Disney app stuff. Love the MMO world. I think it, for me, being a huge video game fan that I am, I get a lot more out of Wreck-It Ralph than I think most other people do, but it's still a film that I can definitely recommend. If you're a video game fan, if you're a movie fan, if you're an animation fan, if you're definitely a big fan of the original Original. I think this is a film for you, so definitely check it out. So with all that said, I'm going to give Wreck-It Ralph 2, or Ralph Breaks the Internet, a B. What your guys' thoughts are on the original Wreck-It Ralph, and of course this new one. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Are you excited for this one? Are you not? Did you not like the first one? Let's talk about it down below and tell me, what video game character do you want to see in a new Wreck-It Ralph movie? Let's talk about it down below in the comments, guys. If you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, just like Crimes of Grindelwald. Also, check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But, guys, of course, until next time, hit that like and subscribe button so you guys never miss a video. And stay classy.